This webinar is an introduction to using the Geographic Update Partnership software, or GUPS, to complete your review of all properly formatted addresses submitted by your entity during the review phase of the Local Update of Census Addresses, or LUCA, operation. This webinar begins after GUPS has been successfully installed. Please review the Quick Start Guide included in your LUCA Feedback Materials package for a quick summary of how to install GUPS on your computer, as well as the minimum hardware and software requirements necessary to use GUPS. If you require further assistance with GUPS installation, contact the LUCA Help Desk at 1-844-344-0169. Participants with previous versions of GUPS installed on their computer for use with other Census Bureau partnership programs must install this updated version for use in the LUCA feedback phase. During this installation process, an uninstall wizard will automatically launch, allowing participants to easily uninstall older versions of GUPS. This install will also update QGIS from version 2.18.15 to version 3.4.4. Please install the up-to-date version of GUPS by using the GUPS software installer disk provided with the LUCA feedback phase materials. Once GUPS is installed, double-click the QGIS desktop icon or navigate to QGIS from the Start menu, All Programs choice, and select QGIS 3.4.4. Wait until the application loads, keeping in mind that an older computer may require a few minutes. When the application loads, the Map Management window appears. In the Map Management window, use the drop-down menu next to the Program field to select the program LUCA Feedback. Or, if reopening a previously started LUCA Feedback project, select the Open Recent drop-down and select any previously started LUCA Feedback project. All LUCA Feedback projects in GUPS are named after the Entity ID of the working entity. After selecting the program, select CD or DVD from the drop-down menu. For this demonstration, the data will be loaded from the hard drive, so we will select My Computer. After a program participant selects CD or DVD, GUPS prompts the participant to insert a disk. Insert the Title 13 data disk that contains the detailed feedback address list first and select the OK button. GUPS prompts for the encryption key distributed in the D2280 password letter separate from the LUCA feedback phase materials. The password will not appear on screen as it is typed. If you have issues accessing the data on the disk, please contact the LUCA Help Desk at 1-844-344-0169. After inputting the encryption key and selecting the OK button, GUPS prompts to insert the next DVD, the non-Title 13 data disk, labeled Disk 2 of 2, that contains the feedback address count list and shapefiles for your jurisdiction. Select the OK button after inserting the disk. If the data does not load, check the local computer to determine if it has enough hard drive and disk space. Participants need at least 4 GB free on the local hard drive during installation to house the software itself along with the address data and shapefiles. As a reminder, Title 13 U.S. Code protects the address data in the Detailed Feedback Address List. All of the data shown in this webinar is for demonstration purposes only and does not contain any Title 13 data. Once the non-Title 13 data disk data has loaded, the entity type, entity name, and any counties associated with your jurisdiction display in the Map Management window. Depending on the size of the entity, it may take a few minutes to load the data. For this demonstration, we will use data for a minor civil division, or MCD. Check the box next to the county or counties to start reviewing and select the Open button. Once the data loads, the Map View, Detailed Feedback Address List, and Feedback Address Count List display on screen. Resort the detailed feedback address list to promote the appeal eligible records, the X01s and R03s, to the top of the list. 
The X01 code represents addresses that were not submitted as part of your LUCA review, but have been deleted from the 2020 Census address list by another LUCA partner or Census operation. The R03 code represents rejected LUCA address updates that will be excluded from the 2020 Census for your jurisdiction. For more information regarding feedback processing codes, please refer to sections 2.2.1 and 2.2.2 in the Respondent Guide. Participants may resort the detailed feedback address list using any of the column headings. Regardless of the view displayed in the detailed feedback address list, only the X01 and R03 records are eligible for appeal. A single click on an address record in the detailed feedback address list selects the record, highlights it in the map view if there is a corresponding map spot, and selects the census block in the feedback address count list. Double clicking on the address record in the detailed feedback address list duplicates the same actions except the map view zooms to the map spot if one exists. Please note that addresses without an XY coordinate will not have an associated map spot. The selected records map spot is turquoise rather than the hollow blue circle of an unselected record to denote its selection. Hollow blue circles represent housing units that are appeal eligible, and hollow blue squares represent group quarters that are appeal eligible. Once an appeal eligible record is flagged for appeal, the symbology changes to solid blue. All gray symbols denote records that are not eligible for appeal. Research the X01 and R03 records to determine if any require reinstatement into the census address list for the 2020 census. If research supports flagging an address record for appeal, with the address selected in the detailed feedback address list, click the Appeal button. This action inserts a Y in the Appeal field within GUPS. The LUCA Appeals Office requires participants to provide evidence of existence and the location for all appealed addresses. Participants must provide the supporting documentation for all appealed addresses. Participants can add supporting documentation as individual records are flagged for appeal or as they work a series of records that use the same evidence and source. They may also choose to add documentation prior to finalizing the appeal with the execution of the Appealed Address Document Review Tool, which we will cover later. To add documentation after flagging a record, choose Yes. Navigate to the location of the documentation, select the supporting evidence file, and choose Open. Once a document is associated with a record flagged for appeal, the linked file appears in a document list. This file is available for future linkages to other flagged records. Additionally, participants can link more than one file of supporting evidence to an appealed record by selecting the appealed record and choosing Upload New File. Use the Remove Appeal button to remove the Y from a record flagged for appeal. Removing a flag from an appealed record serves up a confirmation message. Please use caution when removing an appeal flag as it will remove the supporting documentation added to the selected record. At the conclusion of the feedback materials review, prior to exporting the data for submission, participants may launch the Appealed Address Document Review Tool located in the LUCA Feedback Toolbar to check the appealed records for supporting documentation. Participants may use this tool to attach supporting documentation rather than attaching documentation as individual records are flagged for appeal. In this example, one of the records that we flagged for appeal does not have supporting documentation. At this time, we can add those documents. After concluding your review, export the appealed records and the associated supporting documentation by using the Export to Zip tool in the LUCA Feedback Toolbar. Participants can add supporting documentation from here as well. After entering your contact information and clicking OK, the export creates two zip files, one for the appealed records and one that contains the supporting documentation. 
This process stages both zip files for submission to the 2020 Census LUCA Appeals Office. Once the zip files are created, a message appears that allows participants to view the location of both files. You will need this information later on. To submit updates to the Census Bureau, participants must use the Secure Web Incoming Module, or SWIM. To access SWIM, open an internet browser and navigate to the SWIM URL https colon forward slash forward slash respond dot census dot gov forward slash swim. For participants with an existing swim account, enter the email and password information and click the green login button to log into swim. Please note that both the email and the password are case sensitive. For participants without a swim account, refer to the swim section of the responding guide for instructions regarding account creation. After logging in, the welcome screen opens. If the account has uploaded other files for different geography programs administered by the Census Bureau, a list of files previously uploaded by the SWIM user displays, as shown in the example here. The list includes the creation date of the file upload, the name of the file, and the corresponding size of the zip file. To begin a new upload, Click the Start New Upload button at the bottom of the screen. The What Census Program Are You Reporting Data For screen opens. To ensure the appeals staff receives the submission, choose the Local Update of Census Addresses Appeals Radio button and click the Next button. Please note that all LUCA appeals data will be directed to the 2020 Census LUCA Appeals Office. The What Type of LUCA Appeals Entity Are You Reporting For screen opens. Participants must select the level of geography that matches the type of entity they represent. There are six choices, state, place, county, minor civil division, tribal area, and consolidated city. Select the choice that fits your government. If questions revolve around this choice, Refer to the first two letters of your entity ID to assist with the proper selection. State participants' entity IDs begin with ST, place with PL, county with CO, minor civil division with MC, and tribal areas with TR. Click the radio button for the entity type to upload and click the next button. The choice of Minor Civil Division opens the Select a State, County, and Minor Civil Division screen. Enter the requested information and click Next. Following the selection of the entity type to upload, the Select a Zip file to upload screen opens. Click the Add File button to launch the Choose File to Upload window and navigate to the GUPS data directory where the two zip files reside. Select one file and click Open. The Shift key on the keyboard does not allow for the selection of multiple files, so to add the second file, repeat the same process. Click the Add File button, select the second file, and click Open. Once the file upload completes, the status field shows success. The name of the files appear in the Files field. Participants can add comments to the Comments section to assist the 2020 LUCA Appeals Office. Once you have uploaded your files and any necessary comments, click Next. The Thank You screen appears. It thanks the participant and indicates a forthcoming email once transfer completes. If you do not receive an email, please contact the LUCA Appeals Office via phone or email. Retain your materials until you receive the results of the appeal from the 2020 Census LUCA Appeals Office. Do not destroy any of your materials until you receive the appeals decision. For detailed step-by-step -step instruction on using GUPS, Please read and review the Quick Start Guide for GUPS enclosed with your materials and the LUCA Feedback Phase GUPS Responding Guide included on the non-Title 13 data disk. 
If questions remain after reviewing the GUPS materials, check the LUCA Feedback Digital Respondent Guide that is also included on the non-Title 13 data disk. You may also download these guides from the Census website. Thank you for viewing this demonstration video. If you require assistance with GUPS at any time during the LUCA appeals process, please contact the LUCA Help Desk at 1-844-344-344. 0169 or email geo.2020.luca at census.gov. If you have specific questions related to LUCA appeals, please contact the appeals office at 1-888-222-9907 or email info at luca-appeals.gov.